Hey guys, welcome back. This is MTG Moxman. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Today, sorry, got some sound going in the background there. Um, I was playing Arena today, and I wasn't sure I was going to talk about it tonight, um, but something happened. I know, it's weird, right? Something happened. Um, I was playing a game, and what I was trying to do, I'll explain what I was trying to do first. What I was trying to do was um, manipulate one of the older cards that are still... Here, see, there's the guy. I was trying to use the Sorcerer's Broom. So, in case you guys didn't know, Sorcerer's Broom is from uh, Throne of Eldraine, and it says, and by the way, I don't know if anyone's done this yet, so that's why I'm telling you guys first, because I don't know if anyone knows about it. I don't know if it's happened anywhere, because I don't, I haven't read it anywhere, but I'm just saying. Okay, Sorcerer's Broom says, whenever you sacrifice another permanent, you may pay three. If you do, create a to uh, copy of Sorcerer's Broom. So it's kind of like that whole thing on Fantasia where all the brooms start marching to Mickey Mouse and they keep coming and coming and coming, right? So so I was trying to find a way to manipulate the broom to make lots of copies of brooms really fast uh, with mana supply being, of course, huge. But I couldn't get to work well enough to be at a deck. Uh, what I was doing is I was using the broom with Witch's Oven. I would later on sacrifice some food tokens from a Gilded Goose and then start replicating the broom, okay? And I was using Migration, Path, and, and Sisterkin Root to get land out fast. Anyway, it wasn't um, working well enough, okay? I, I kept getting, you know, one win for every three losses, which is which is bad, okay? So I was kind of like, ah, there's got to be a use for this card, man. So later today, when I was playing, I had Outer Sorcerer's Broom, and I tried manipulating different colors. So in this case, it was white-green. And I had the broom out, and and he had um, oh, what do you call it? Um, questing beast. And I knew I couldn't block with just this creature, and I had uh, a cub warden. Where I was going to mutate onto it, and then put on the recluse. Okay, so I did that, and I got my two little one one guys. Okay, and he didn't attack. I guess he didn't have anything else to lose with the creature. So here we have the questing beast on his side with like a couple of paradise druids. I had only the sorcerer's broom, but I managed to do both cards at the same time. Uh, so I, it became quite large. Okay, so I think it was a uh, oh, six, seven or something because of the a five, seven, five, seven. So he didn't do anything. So the next turn, though, I said, I better copy the broom. So I sacrificed a food token and I went to make the copy of the creature which I figured would be a 2-1 broom, but it wasn't. <laughs> it made a copy of the Cub Warden. Because it's been mutated onto the creature, it copies all the effects that are with that creature. It became another huge monster. So I was like, whoa, is this like an error? So then what I did was, the next turn he didn't attack. Right? Because <laughs> obviously now I have these two cub wardens plus a couple of 1-1 one, one little cubs. Next turn, I put that uh, the recluse on. Now it's getting bigger. And then a few turns later, I was copying this 3-5 cub warden over and over. Over and over. <laughs> Until eventually I have, like, you know, enough that I can start attacking and I don't care if I die. So, the very next game, I go ahead, and I put a couple of different, now, mutate creatures in the deck. And I put Auspicious Elk and a few other green ones. Great Horde. Now, I realize, uh, maybe it's just me, guys. I was like, I was surprised. And I don't get surprised very much in Magic about this stuff. I didn't realize, because it says it would make a copy of the Sorcerer's Broom. So I figured it would just copy the Broom. It copies whatever is mutated onto it. And makes a copy of that. And then those copies make copies of that. So, if you do different variations, you get copies of those copies of whatever you've copied before. So, one had a, a, a Glowstone Recluse, one had a Volpakeet. When I did the thing and I had the mana, it made doubles of each of them. Later on, I did the Elk, doubles of the Elk. <laughs> so, now, I haven't figured out a way to quite manipulate this in my, in my, uh, into a, a better deck yet. But you put some Gem Razors in there, you, you might... Mana is still the problem, 
But if you can find a way to get some mana ramp out fast. I don't know. You need some card drawing. But if you can do it, man, I'm telling you. Maybe put um, some of the, uh, what do you call it, cycling lands in there. You might be able to speed things up. I'm going to try some different variations because I was just floored. I, ha I have the Witch's Oven in there too, right? So you can sacrifice stuff and start. But you just got to have, you got to be able to keep, you got to be able to keep the broom alive. If you keep the broom alive, until later on, because most people don't see the broom as a threat. That's what I was thinking. The one game I started just making copies of the broom. I had like six, seven brooms out. Um, but later on, when I, this happened, I'm like, and I had that brood moth. So even when they died, they came back. If it's the original creature. It's awesome. I'm telling you. It's just in my face. I, I, I mean, I guarantee the one guy used up three timeouts when it started making copies of the Cub Warden. And I can just see his head going, And he kept highlighting the 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 sorcerer's broom. He's going. I can just picture it because he took a three minute timeout basically to check all this, see what was going on, and he still died anyway. I overwhelmed him, but it did, it's still this deck is not winning enough to make it a main deck. But there is a chance that I can slim it down a bit, manipulate the cards a bit. And make it better. That's what I'm thinking. And if I can, whoo, this could be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I'm telling you guys, I was really surprised when this happened. This is one of those pleasant things where I'm just like, I thought I was going to get a 2-1 broom. But no, no, I got a 3-5 cupboard. So now I just want to manipulate the card and see how it's going to work. I'm going to ask my, uh, one of my buddies who's a judge uh, how this would all work. Because uh, I'm very curious to see what the overall game effects will be later on. Because, uh, of course, Sorcerer's Broom uh, would never had that opportunity before, right? It didn't, things couldn't graft onto it to cause that effect to start copying. So I'm wondering if this is a unique effect that nobody knows about yet. Which means you would be the first to know. And if you knew, why didn't you say anything to me? I sound like an idiot right now. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just one of those videos where I'm like, hey, man. I didn't know that. I mean, I don't know why I didn't know that. I was just finding a way to break the witch's room a little bit to kind of ramp it up and see if it's a useful card because I love the imagery of it and the idea of the Fantasia brooms coming. But the idea of just sacrificing a food token, doubling it, that's what I was trying to do. But when this happened by accident, oh my God, I was just like, did that just happen? And then I tried it again on the next food token. It started copying. I'm like, that is crazy. So now I know something, and I don't know if other people know, but I love it. And I just wanted to share that with all you guys in case you weren't aware of it. I wanted you to know that I love it. And hopefully you'll love the idea too. Because it's one of those things where we're talking about things, you know, being unique, getting a little sauce back in the life. And when it comes across something I don't know, or I haven't experimented with, or didn't know was going to happen, and it's a game effect I didn't, you know, it's the same as uh, when I'm playing an arena game. And I die in some extraordinary way and I can't, I didn't record the game. So I can't see how the person did it to me because it doesn't let you replay what just happened, which drives me insane because the game doesn't let you review parts of it. doesn't let you slow things down. You're just dead. I'm like, how? What just happened? That I lost 15 life. So this is one of those things where I did it. So I'm like, that is awesome. And I'm sure the guy's going, I got killed by a bunch of cops. They just kept coming. What's going on? So. I like the effect. I just got to see if it'll work maybe with a different color. Because because the, the Witches of and the Broom will go with any color. Right? It doesn't matter. So you just got to find the, the cards that would have the most vicious mutate power for the lowest cost and, and put them on there. And and I got to find a way of recycling your deck because you're going to kill it. They're going to kill it a lot. So, anyway. Um, I just wanted to share that with you tonight. Um... Source, what do you guys think? I'll put like the little tag, uh, <laughs> Magic the Gathering Sorcerer's Broom or Sorcerer's Broom Revenge. I don't know. Sorcerer's Broom Combo. I don't know. 
I'll think of something in the next seven seconds. I'm telling you guys. Anyway, if you're new subscribers, and there is quite a few of you, thank you so much for choosing me. Have a great night, guys. Thanks to all my regular viewers. You guys rock, man. All right. And by the way, my, my videos are on the uptick. I, I've got new subscribers joining. This has been an awesome week, and thank you so much, guys, for being part of it. All right. I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Have a great one.